It's episode six, which is quite nice. And you can obviously tell I'm quite ill. So I'm going to be taking a break. And uh, that's why this video is going to come out a bit later. So, you know, be patient. Bye bye. My voice is a bit better, but I also don't know what to do at all. I want to play, but I don't know what to do. I might just get rid of that pillar, to be honest. That looks like a nice pillar to destroy. Oh, wow. It looks glorious up here. I need to do his forehead. <coughs> I'm hoping if I destroy enough of these, like, pillar things, then eventually the whole cave will just cave in, and then I'll die, which will be amazing. Bang! Might as well extend up a bit. No harm done. Alright, that's as much as I can be bothered to do. I guess now I can maybe expand, well, widen the weird circle I've made. Make it more of, like, a... Instead of a, you know. Right, before I forget, I'm going to expand this. Because I know I'm going to jump down on, like, the new edge. And then land here or something. So, let's just make it big as it can go, probably. Ah! Oh. Right, if I die to this, then I quit hardcore completely. There'll be no new series. I don't know why I'm bordering this, to be honest. Just have water. Hello! Ooh, silk touch. Let's use this. Yes. If I use by a million levels. Yeah! Oh, that's scary. Right, I have no elytra. I have no elytra. I have no elytra. Need to tell myself that because I will forget. For now, I'm going to keep it a circle because I don't want to build anything drastic like a big crack in the ground because then I have to fill the whole floor with water. So, I guess I can go three blocks in each direction maybe. <coughs> yeah, this looks about a good size. And I think I should be safe if I f I'm going to put elytra on. Just in case I fall. Oh. Three stone. Way longer than I thought it would take. I think like three or four days have passed. <laughs> and that looks a bit more sizable, doesn't it? So that would be like a crack. A nice crack going from there. I don't know. I could curve it like that or something. Curve it around like that. Whatever. Got lots of free stone though. Look at all this. I need some new boots because these are decrepit. And if I'm flying around with a light I found out a lot of hardcore players have their light there so they can easily know if they've got it on or not. Then if they need a switch, they do that. Press one, which I think I might do. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my boots. I need feather falling. I was gonna splat into a wall and die. Bang bang. Ah, uh, that's like half of it. I need feather falling. Just not gonna give it to me though. What on earth? <laughs> what? Why would he jump down? I need to light that up. Alright, I'm all safe now. What was I doing this? Bang bang. Feather falling. Ah. Oh. Bang bang. I'm pre. Feather. <laughs> feather falling. This tr this is trolling me. You stupid. Ah. Oh. I guess it's time to slap some zombies for ages. Oh, come on, that's 30. How close that is. Oh, hello. Thank you. Feather falling. Oh, three baby zombies. Oh, my God. I've noticed, look. When a baby zombie's chasing you, if you jump, they lose sight of you. <laughs> Every now and then, look. They just stop. I'm dipping. Okay. Bang, bang. Feather falling. <laughs> Four to six days later. We feather falling. <laughs> Two hours later. Right, give me feather falling, or I think I give up. All right, I give up. I would rather die to full damage than do that again. We're gonna do one more. Ah, bruh. Thirty levels. That was actually really quick for some reason. Got some good RNG. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, yeah, that was the last time. <laughs> ah, right. Is this still working? Oh, that was quite a bit. Sometimes if I unload the chunks wrong, then this will start producing cobblestone for some reason. So I need to keep an eye on it. Oh, wow. Give me, give me. Wee. Got a stack of blocks. I'm going to do a bit of his forehead. That was actually really close to being done. Look at that. I found some more bones. This might be enough. Should be the last block. Bang, bang. Done. Pronto. Yonko. I have no food now. What I really need now is breeding. No. Wait. I need villagers. So that's what I did. Flew to a nearby village, then created a portal and transported two villagers to my home, and then decided I want them to be like in a hole near the bone mill farm or something, you know. So I got some TNT and stuff. I then squared out the edges and transported all the villagers using portals again. Turned them both into farmers and then created a small farm near it so that maybe, you know, like the farmers would grab the food 
then have babies and then those babies will have more food because the farmers and then blah, 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 you know my cave looks really nice but my only worry is there isn't much else to do with it apart from like you know smoothing the edges getting rid of all the tough gravel <gasps> i really want to place a block next to that so i was thinking I need my elytra that i should kind of expand my base to be on the surface as well that we got a massive city around here we can also incorporate the savannah with it with big high walls and then we'll have the big ravine what will go down to the cave big crack in the ground probably in the city center i'm gonna be starting that today so i have a few buildings i want to build quite small ones also want to smooth out the land i'm not going to say anything else because I'd, i'm going to end up getting bored <laughs> for this build we need spruce and i haven't found any spruce yet meaning i need to go on a journey probably millions of blocks that was a half an hour journey and I regret doing it. That was not worth it. I need a lot of spruce, like a ton, a butt ton. Oh yeah, I found four diamonds in a, uh, what was it? A blacksmith. I'm gonna make a new pair of boots just in case because this has got 20 durability and then it's the enchanted ability to go down. Bang, bang, fair falling. Whatever, man. Okay, I got bored, so that's all I'm doing. In order to make a city, I need to get rid of this town. I am literally just gonna obliterate it. So building in desert, sir, is actually kind of a hard. I've been playing around creative for quite a while, and in order to do it, I need to basically skill myself up, become a god at this like lingo of sand. And that's because desert builds are like very, very different. Oh, hello. Desert builds are very, very different to like a plains build or something like that, because in real life, you don't really get desert kingdom. <laughs> I've got some stuff. I know I destroyed all the houses, so obviously I'm gonna get some stuff from that. Loads of stuff. Hopefully this is enough to build a few buildings. I wanna build like two or three today, maybe five or 17. Up to me really, isn't it? Okay, this could go horribly wrong. I'm gonna try my first build. Let's see how it goes. From my understanding, you need to build like really rectangular builds. pretty much like a vanilla desert build i would say we need to make it more flamboyant and epic i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna give it a go oh yeah it's day 100 i was meant to celebrate no 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 uh fireworks yay 100 days <laughs> now it's day 100 101 <laughs> So this is what I've done so far. It's three buildings and they're all connected. I think I'm gonna keep connections with all the buildings. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like that makes sense. But I'll start off this little building. It's very vanilla-esque, very, very small and petite. And then you go through, there's a right option and there's an up option. Right just takes you to this weird window area. And then left takes you up here, where you can have a little outlook of the stuff. You can go up here, go across the bridge, which will bridge over the path what would be there and then it'll go to the tower this is like the lookout tower or something i don't know some area to have a view i want to put a building here and probably one that side as well going up to about that height past that i'm pretty unsure so i'm just gonna go with the flow you know whatever the paths take me whatever the sand curves I will be there and I will kill them. Anyway, this is going to be a shorter episode. Sorry. Um, I've got to do lots of stuff in between episodes. I've got to get mending for all my stuff. I've got mending for this silky touch, you know, like pickaxe stuff. I'm going to try and get mending for all this stuff. I'm going to try to finally get feather falling. Really hope I can get feather falling. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.